Hello, welcome to this MagicAd Revit new features webinar for MagicAd 2.18 main release. This is a new feature for user-defined uh, symbols enhancements which we've now included in this software. So the idea of this feature is that you can now create your own symbols very easily uh, just by drawing detail lines uh, in the project and ripping the detail line into, uh, into a symbol which then is applied into a a product family. So <clears throat> here's an example. If I first go to annotate and then detail line in Revit. I'm just going to create a basic shape in detail lines. So it's not really important how it looks. I just want to show you what the process is. So it's obviously it's, it's a, it's a non-standard symbol. It's nothing really. I'm just going to draw something like that. And then what I need to do now is uh, create my own, if I want to, my own symbol library. Um, it's like a user-defined library, so I'll just copy this user-defined one, but I'll just rename it. Um, there's something else like test there. And then when I go back into Revit, so I now need to rip this detail line arrangement into a symbol for the library so if I now go to magic add common and then symbol management create user symbol and then just highlight the detail lines like that with a window hit finish and now I choose a base point which will be used to align to the product installation point um, uh, for that family so I'll click there and you can see it pulls the uh, symbol out category is for products in this case series there's the test one that I just created before and then we're going to call it electrical socket and then I'm just going to call it test on the end press OK and now that's ripped into the uh, symbol library so <coughs> if I now go into magic add electrical and then install product if I choose a electrical socket and then go into the properties of that I can now go into the library but this time we'll uncheck the UK and there's my symbol on the uh, there's the test database uh, library database there so press OK press OK again and now that symbol will be assigned to this particular family and press OK then now it's going to create the new product family for this electrical socket along with the symbol which I previously created in this view here you can see so when that family is created I'll place it into the project and you'll be able to see how that works so if I now just put that socket on the wall there and press apply you will now see that that symbol is now part of this family here it's exactly the same size uh, as the original symbol that I drew at this scale so that's how you can control the scale and size of the, of the symbol itself and of course the symbol is just an annotation like anything else so if you edit the family you'll be able to see that the symbol <coughs> is just contained there within <coughs> the product family itself as a generic annotation just like anything else in, in Revit as you'd expect so that's a demonstration of um, this particular feature. Thank you for watching.